Oh man, so well folks, they say there's always a lot of casualties in war, and they look like we may have a casualty right quick. And um, I don't know if it's gonna do anything to the man platform, but they are on DJ Vlad's ass right now. So everything started basically right here. Let me walk y'all through the story. So Vince Staples, the rapper, the amazing writer. Vince Staples. Did y'all watch the Vince Staples show on Netflix? Go support it when you're done tonight. If you haven't already, make sure you give a thumbs up to show engagement so we get him renewed for a new season for a show. Support good shit. Let's continue. So he says, see the problem with hip hop is white people too comfortable. We need to treat y'all how y'all treat us at Trader Joe's. Now, that was responding with a lot of people laughing at and wow, 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 you know, X, Y, and Z type shit. So then you have stuff like this pop up, you know, People responding to Kendrick Lamar's this towards Drake saying, you know, you're not a colleague, you're colonized as well. That's Rosenberg. And Rory, who is also a white person in hip hop, saying, we got to sit this out, bro. We, we got to sit this out. Like that that line right there, that ain't the line you want to be quoting to go ahead and get your amens. No, nah, my boy, shut the fuck up. But um, this person reposted this and proof positive. Requoted Vince Staples tweet and said this. So let's go through this little story. So DJ Vlad, after Kendrick Lamar dropped the banger, not like us going at Drake's neck with a, finally a song that people could dance to. Cause you know, on the timeline, they've been saying, Kendrick's shit been okay, but it ain't cool. It, 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 it seemed like they wanted to pop their ass to some songs like some bad bitches. Like, you know, he said Drake and Sexy Red would do. S, Y, and Z. So, he finally came with a bop. Vlad says this. Kendrick's not like us needed a better mix. It takes away from the song. So, they on his ass. Is it, the colonizer bar cuts your soul, didn't it? Why are you talking? You people are always in our conversations. You're just another pink colonizer. Shut up, Patrick. You're not of the culture. Who keep holding the door for Vlad? Let the door lock. Clean your ears and your mouth, gang. Here's another. You hating. Oh, man. It takes away from the song. Hush. They got, they got nuts in the man. They got nuts in the stroke. They got nuts in the throat. All right, so you have more things. Um, some persons in white. Um, they post this uh, <laughs> this line right here from Rick Ross' video. Well, go run down the checkers and get us some big Buford. That's how <laughs> <laughs> All right, they post this right. Everybody staying at though Peter Griffin, cause y'all know why. And they say you not like us. Then this when shit hit the fan for, for black. So. This lady says, you are white. This is a black folk affair. Now, Vlad read her bio, which says this right here. New York Times bestselling author, Princeton, CWR faculty, two-time National Magazine award-winning journalist and editor filmmaker. So Jack, Vlad responds saying, wait, so a professor at Princeton is telling me that a white person shouldn't be allowed to voice their opinion about hip hop? Is that how you interact with your students? She responds saying, what I'm saying is that you put your opinion in a discussion that's not needed. This conversation is and should center black people, not you. Vlad responds saying, don't try to change your words. Now I'll be reaching out to Princeton about this on Monday. So the lady responds saying, semester's over and my contract has been completed. Thanks, um, but thanks for trying to bully me out of a job for centering black people because you got your feelings hurt. Very retaliatory, huh? Nice tactic. So he goes on to say, look, I gotta make a bigger pause, saying um, it's called a permanent record. Every university has one. I went to Berkeley myself. People spew ignorant and bigoted comments at you publicly and then act like they are getting bullied when they get a response. Typical victim uh, mentality. Go ahead and take that Princeton out of your profile, sweetie. You just admit it is not even true anymore. What was happening with Vlad is he was getting his ass jumped. He seen someone who he thought was a weak link and attacked them. Cause that's what you're told to do when you're getting jumped. Attack who you think is a weak link. So he seen the woman, the princess, and said, I'm gonna go ahead and direct my attention towards you. But then he just got jumped some more, but we can get to that. Let's, let's keep reading. So in response to Vlad telling her to take the Princeton out of her bio, she says, sweetheart, before I was a professor at Princeton, I graduated from Princeton. LOL, so what is you really saying, Vlad? He responds saying, good luck being a professor at Princeton again. I doubt the university supports their faculty telling non-black students to shut the funk up about anything hip hop related because of their skin color. Vlad, when the hell did she say that? Well, you add the extra little sauce on it. I guess it's other people. When you getting jumped, you don't know who hit you. Y'all remember Chris Tucker and Rush out here like, which one of y'all kicked me? <laughs> That's how Vlad is right now. Which one of y'all kicked me? <laughs> Then he squared up to fight this one chick and then they ended up stopping his ass. 
Oh, she says, which is not even what I said. I find it funny that you specifically chose to respond to me, belittle my academic background and threaten my job when others responded to you in a much harsher way. Very interesting and telling, but you got it. He then says, it's exactly how, it's, um, it's exactly what you said. You're just backtracking now. I never belittled your academic background, just the opposite actually. I'm pointing out that someone claiming to represent a top Ivy League university should be held to a high standard. You're threatening your own job by publicly spewing bigotry while representing Princeton in your bio. I responded to you because all the other responses are from trolls and fake accounts. That's not true. You may want to think about getting a burner account like all the other biggest do. That's how they keep from getting fired. Kev on stage says Vlad is whack for a myriad of reasons. But in this, you can tell he saw a black woman and a predominantly white university and tried to use his whiteness against her. Disgusting. This dude right here says, yeah, Vlad gotta go. <laughs> Vlad gotta go. Everyone take note of Vlad. This is who he is. Rod Digger. Rapper Rod Digger says, damn. You calling a principal on her for battle rap shit talking? Big yikes. Not reading the room, man. Vlad responds saying, Ra, think about it this way. A black music blogger made a comment about Taylor Swift's song not having a good mix. Then a Harvard professor responded to him saying, you are black, this is a white folk affair. You would be okay with this professor teaching his kids at a top university? Not me. Fair point logically, but culturally. What y'all think about that point? Let me know. DJ Vlad gets called a culture vulture and immediately responds like a culture vulture. Omani Jones' son uh, responds to uh, what he originally said and said, Buddy made a point by accident. And then he says, let me be clear from my reply to Vlad, anyone hearing a record in this battle talking about, of all things, the mix, not like us. Well, maybe like you, but definitely not like me. Phone that. Vlad responds to Bomani saying, I understand and respect your point, but at the end of the day, Kendra's audio is being heard by tens of millions of people. A rough mix is the equivalent of a blurry video. Meanwhile, Drake is going all out on production and mixing level. So... Bomani says he called Drake a slave runner and you calling Kendrick out for two tracking. Nah, man. Nah. Vlad responds saying, never said anything about Kendrick's lyrics, but you don't two track when the whole world is listening. And he responds saying, Prince Engineer said Prince never cared that much about the level of production. Would matter if you had the goods. On If I Was Your Girlfriend, the half the boy wasn't firing. Nobody cares about the mix on If I Was Your Girlfriend had the goods. Dot had the goods. Vlad responds saying, check out the streams for Prince If I Was Your Girlfriend compared to properly mixed songs like Kiss and Raspberry Beret. I rest my case. And Bomani says, you repeatedly made my point. Anyone who actually knows Prince music can tell you If I Was Your Girlfriend is top 10 in his catalog. Vlad is a tourist trying to use Google Maps to argue with the locals. Do you understand that like, if someone come to Miami and they talking about good restaurants on South Beach, I'ma be like, man, I don't give a fuck about a restaurant on South Beach. <laughs> I don't give a damn about a restaurant on South Beach. I'm not going down there. That's for y'all. That's for the visitors, for the people that's really from here. They really know shit. The stuff that I'ma tell you about, you might not even want to even go there. It may be too Miami for you. It may be too cultural for you to even want to go to the spots that I made name. That's the point. That's the point. So this lady says, white men who profit from hip hop select their victims with precision. Black men with platforms who are faculty at high ranking college colleges who tweeted the same sentiment as Morgan Jerkins to DJ Vlad, but he knows trying to get a black woman fired won't cost him his black male following. So this lady says, he also didn't think that anyone who would defend me because I'm a black woman. So thank you to everyone who did. I know why he responded to me and it's not because of his other critics were bots. That was definitely a lie. Um, I don't. I don't know why he chose that angle. I don't know why he chose her. I don't know why. These may be some. Maybe some credence to what they're saying. I don't know why. Jesus says, "Yeah, we need gatekeepers because hip hop done lost the plot." Kevin Stay says once again, "We finally getting Vlad up out of here. A great weekend indeed." Um, I don't think Vlad can go nowhere. He does good work with his platform as far as his interviews and his journalism. He does good when it comes to that. So he's gonna supply a need. No matter what in hip hop and unless someone comes and make a platform that's competitive to his or things just change, he's going to be here. But you can let him know why he's disrespected often by pointing things out and he just got to live with that.
Okay, I got to update while editing. Vlad and Spoke Godney says, since it's Monday, let me clear the air and state that I have never had any intention of filing a complaint to Princeton for former professor Morgan Jerkins saying that white people aren't allowed to comment on Kendrick Lamar's music. She's trolled me and I trolled back. At the end of the day, it created an interesting discussion about race relations in America. I will be discussing it further in my future interviews. All right, now she responds to that. This is what she has to say. She says, a lie. He tagged my employer multiple times with the intention to professionally harm me. I didn't troll. I censored black people in a discussion on hip hop and told him to stand down because it's not his space. He's backtracking because he miscalculated. By the way, stop content. Wait, stop contacting my family. Wait, what? I think her dad is Dark Child. I'm th I mean, I think her uncle is Dark Child. So she says, now that he's walked the back, I have final projects from Princeton and graduate thesis to eva evaluate. Screenshots last forever. You try to get violent and you realize how many people were in my corner. Oops. Y'all gotta let me know what y'all gotta say in the comment section below. I'm going to get up out of here though. This is another update with Stace. Yo.